If you're looking to generate traces from your ingress controllers and web server, then this episode is for you. Welcome back to the Is It Observable YouTube channel. Today's episode is going to be related to the OpenTelemetry series and technically also to the Kubernetes series, where we covered lots of topics. Several months ago, I released a series of episodes explaining how to observe your ingress controllers and especially the Nginx using logs or metrics. Today's episode is going to be focused on explaining how to enable the auto instrumentations of OpenTelemetry on our ingress controllers and also on our web server, and is going to mainly focus on the Nginx. If you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So let's see what you're going to learn out of this episode. We'll start with a small introduction on web server modules and C++ instrumentation. We will then look uh, at the open temperature instrumentation of our Nginx uh, web servers, explaining how to enable it and how to configure it. We will look at the tracing support providing by our ingress. And last, we explore the features added by the open telemetry operator. Several months ago, I had a series of episodes related to Nginx ingress controller, showing how to observe an ingress utilizing only metrics. And we quickly understood that it was not enough and we had to take advantage of logs to be able to get enough details on the current traffic of our ingress. In this series, I show how to utilize Loki and LogQL, and then I covered a similar journey using FluentD, but it could be also be FluentBit. But since lots of improvement has been made by our community and especially the open telemetry community, if you followed properly the community, it has improved the auto instrumentations in many, many languages and even in C++ and C, which means all the projects using those languages can also produce traces. But what common technology are using C and C++ to receive high traffic and consume reasonable resources? Well, web servers. Apache and Genix are basically built using those languages. But modifying the code of those web servers by adding the instrumentation library of OpenTelemetry does not make sense. So the good news is that Apache and Nginx community has provided a module for the web server that we can use to enable the tracing on our servers. So the amazing news is that we now can produce traces from our web server, our proxy, to get a better understanding on the time spent on our web server. But if Nginx web server has this feature, then it also means that it is also available in our ingress controller. So the question is, how can we enable it? Most of our web servers, including NGNX, provide plugins providing extra features on the top of our web server. Those plugins are designed as a web server module that we need to install to add this feature capability in our web server. So once installed, we can simply configure the module by editing the web server configuration file. In the case of the OpenStream modules in NGNX, named NGNX module hotel, or in the case of Nginx Plus, it's going to be Nginx Plus module hotel, that is available from version 1.22 or 1.25 on Nginx Plus. It will pr produce traces when interacting with a specific module. So here is the list of the modules that will produce traces. But if you are managing the notification, uh, static pages, caching, uh, request limiting, then you will be completely covered by the instrumentation of OpenTelemetry. So the first step is to install this module on top of our NGX modules. For example, in case of in an Ubuntu environment, I will use yum install NGNX uh, mo plus module hotel in case of NGNX. Once installed, we need to configure NGNX to enable this plugin. So in the NGNX conf, in the main sections, we would add a specific line to load the module. So here is the line that we will have to add. And then once enabled, there is a couple of parameters that will allow us to configure it to define the exporter, the sampling decisions, and more. What is great is that in the exporter configuration, we can precise, of course, the address of the exporter, no surprise, but moreover, the batch size and the number of assets in the batch. The batch size will specify the size of the batch per worker thread and the number of pending batch per worker thread. If the limit has been reached, then the batch will be dropped. It means that we will have to monitor somehow the batch size. For example, 
out of those settings, you can specify, of course, the name of the service, the name of the span, how basically Nginx will propagate the trace context, and also the sampling decisions. Here is the settings that you can put in your Nginx web server. In this example, we define a variable called ratio sampler that could be used to configure the hotel trace. Hotel trace requires to create a variable. It will specify if the tracing is enabled and the actual sampling decisions for the uh, open temperature instrumentations. In this example, if you pay attention, we are setting it to 10%, so it's a head sampling. Hotel trace context is the setting the trace propagations. There are several options available. There is extract, it will reuse the current trace context available in the header. Or inject, it will create a new trace context and propagate. It will basically, it's a combination of extract and inject. So if it's not there, it will create it. And if it's there, it will reuse it. And last we have skip where we have, there's no header processing. Last, we can also add custom attributes with the hotel span attribute a property. If we want to distinguish, for example, our Nginx server based on locations, geo, or if there's a specific type for caching, for proxying, for web server, we can add those attributes to distinguish them in our trace. Once enabled, Nginx will produce a span with the details of the request using the semantic conventions of OpenTemit. So to remind, here is the list of the semantic conventions. You can see you have the HTTP methods, the route, uh, the request content length, the response content length, the status code, and so on. Similar to the web server, the Nginx Ingress controller has also a tracing feature. The great news is that we don't need to build a specific Ingress image that where we include, where we install the module and so on, because these features is already included in the recent version of our Ingress. But of course, it is disabled by default. To enable the instrumentation, we must enable it by configuring our ingress by modifying the config map of our ingress by adding the following parameter. Here it is. You can see that we say enable open telemetry equal true. So similar to the web servers, we will have specific settings to configure the service name, the span name, the sampling decision, uh, the address of the exporter, and so on and so forth. Ingress controller has even a flag to trust or not the incoming span. It's a bit similar to the web server settings that we saw a few minutes ago, where we can define if we should propagate the trace context or not. But even better, the product has added annotations allowing us to enable disable instrumentation on specific ingress rules. For example, here we have an ingress rule where we enable the open term instrumentation. It also add options to configure the trust incoming spans that has with the following annotations. So at the end, uh, by enabling the Prometheus metrics, the access logs and the trace on our ingress, we can get full visibility on our traffic coming through our ingress. Again, enabling everything will come with a price, but like explained in the episode on the ingress, the metric is not providing us the right dimensions to filter by ingress rule. So observing your ingress based on logs or even traces will clearly level up our observability. Last part is the Open Telemetry Operator, which is one of my favorite projects of the Open Telemetry community. If you want to learn more about the operator, I have produced a dedicated episode related to it, and I recently created an episode about a dedicated feature, the Target Allocator, which is an amazing feature built by the community. I clearly recommend to watch it, especially if you're collecting metrics with your collector using the Prometheus receiver. To simplify our journey towards open telemetry, the operator provides a verse CRD that will simplify our configuration. So one CRD configuring the deployments of our open telemetry collector with the open telemetry collector CRD. And then there's another uh, CRD that will configure the auto instrumentation SDK on how we're going to inject it either through an SDK, through an agents into our workload. This feature is limited to few languages. So we have Java, Node.js, Python, Go, .NET, and it also has an auto instrumentation settings for Apache and Nginx. So here I'm not referring to the ingress, but to a traditional Nginx web server. The auto instrumentation for Nginx is only compatible for the version 1.22. So similar to the configuration of the instrumentation of our web server, it will require to adjust the configuration file of Nginx. But don't worry, we don't have to touch it. It's going to be the operator that will do that by magic. The operator will expect that the configuration file will be located into, into slash etc nginx nginx conf. If you're using a different uh, path, not a big deal. There's a way of configuring the path into the instrumentation object. So for example, 
here are the settings where we customize uh, the path of the Nginx conf. The configuration of the instrumentation library will require to configure the open telemetry web module that has a specific parameters per web server. So there is specific settings for Apache with specific variables, and there is specific variables for Nginx. So here is a link to a page documenting all those different uh, uh, variables. So there's a list of parameters helping you to adjust the name of the service, the name of the, the span, the batch size, the sampling decisions, but you can also exclude specific URL path from the instrumentation. Let's say you don't want to have traces from uh, the slash contact page. So you can use the, set, the, the following parameters. So Nginx module in your path, and we can set the exact path, or we can also use a regeps on this role. The other great thing is that you can precise the HTTP header request or response that you would like to extract and add them as a span attribute. So here is the configuration. So it's gonna be Nginx module response header or Nginx module request header. So how do we take advantage of it? So first, you need to configure the instrumentation CRD to determine the destination of the trace and the sampling decision. So here is an example where we set, we are sending to a collector. We define a trace context with B3 and the W3C trace context. And also we define a trace ID ratio. And also we couple of attributes from NGNX to the, define the batch size. Then to inject this auto instrumentation into our web server, we will have to add a specific annotations to our Nginx deployment. So here is the annotations. So it's gonna be open telemetry slash inject Nginx equal to true. And that's it. It's already configured and you get traces. This is beautiful. That's it for today's episode related to the instrumentation of your Nginx web server or your Nginx ingress controllers. As you can see, it's very exciting to see that those, the auto instrumentation is already included either through a module in our web servers or either um, directly in, in the ingress controller image. We just have to enable it and configure it. So I think it makes the instrumentation very easy and smooth without adding extra complexity or modifying the, the image or the release of the web server. Um, if you're using, of course, a web server in uh, Oak Kubernetes, the open telemetry operator will make your life so much easier by utilizing this instrumentation CRD like we saw, where you can configure all those variables, uh, define the destinations without touching the config file of Nginx. So this is great. And again, keep in mind that the operator is only instrumenting the web server aspects of Nginx. If you're using an ingress Nginx, you will have to use the feature that is provided by the ingress controllers. So if you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So see you soon for another episode. Bye.